If you're wondering, why do I need to sign up in three separate groups to learn about district events through Meetup? Why can't I just join one group and why can't we have just one group on Meetup? It would be simpler. Well, you're right, it would be simpler, but it doesn't help the clubs that are not in Santa Clara County. Let's see what we mean. Each group has one geotagged location. The main district account, which is now the Santa Clara account, is geotagged to Santa Clara. So if somebody does a search for Santa Clara County, this group will show up. And if they do a search uh, within a certain number of miles of the city of Santa Clara, this will show up. Likewise, the Monterey group is geotagged to the city and county of Monterey making search results more productive for that group. And the same is true for Santa Cruz County Toastmasters that are geotagged to Santa Cruz County and City. Now, San Benito has only one club, and our understanding is that people in San Benito County tend to be more connected to Salinas than to Santa Cruz, Salinas is in Monterey County, so we have put them together here. All right, now let's see how this works. I want to show you an event that I made in the district group. Now, just a couple of week, weeks ago, this was the only group for all of the district. So I kept one event that's in Monterey in this group. Here it is, Oratory Otters Toastmasters in Monterey. This event is an online event. This club is located in Monterey. It's part of Division A. And when they meet in person, they meet in Monterey. But right now they're meeting online. This is an online event. And in Meetup, when you choose to make something an online event, you lose the ability to geotag that event. And the geotag that is assigned to that event is that for the group, which means this club event is tagged to Santa Clara. So you can see where this is going. Now, the way to see what your club postings, what your group and your events look like to the public is to log out because if you're logged in, Meetup pushes your group events to you. So now I'm just a member of the public and I'm looking for some place to help me with my public speaking. So I'll do a general search. And I got, oh my goodness, a Toastmasters group in New York. All right, well, that's a little too far. And you can see here, Meetup is pushing for me to enter a physical location. Well, I'm down on the Monterey Peninsula, and that's where Oratory Otters meets. So let's do that. I clicked Monterey, and for some reason, Meetup is giving me a Hayward event. Well, that's strange. So I need to tighten that up a little bit. So Meetup really pushes people to tighten their physical location searches. Ah, here we go. Okay, so a search for public speaking within 10 miles of Monterey for events yields Carmel Improv. This is the next meeting for the group. They belong to this Monterey and San Benito County new group that we've made for the district. So it's geotagged to Monterey. And then this is just a sample one I made. I will have to delete that. This is our placeholder for December. We don't yet have a speaker or details. When we do, we will update the graphic. But for now, it's just showing as a recurring meeting the second Tuesday of every month. But goodness, that's all it's showing. One club and three events. That's not very good. For public speaking, we should be showing up. Well, let's look at groups. So that's events actual meetings. Here are the groups. In Meetup, people search for events and they also like to join groups. In fact, we want you all to join our three groups. Well, here's the Geotag Monterey group. So that works. 
Ah, here we go. Meetup wants me to check out burlesque and body confidence. And Qui-Gon, very good. Monterey Psychedelic. Ah, look at this. Peninsula Pros Advanced Toastmasters. So this group shows up in a public speaking group search near Monterey, but their events do not show up. So I think they should put the words public speaking in their event descriptions so that they show up. Monterey Peninsula, same story. The group shows up, but their events did not show up. And that's it. That's all we get. Well, in both searches, events and groups, did you notice that the Oratory Otters meeting for a club in Monterey, when they hold in-person meetings, they are in Monterey. And pretty much every member of the club lives within a few miles of Monterey. That club is not showing up. So a member of the public would not discover Oratory Otters because it is tagged to the Santa Clara group. Now let's change this and say Toastmasters. Of course, the thing about Toastmasters is no one's going to search for that unless they've already heard of Toastmasters. So that's a little limiting, but let's see what we get. For events, now we see Monterey Peninsula Toastmasters and we see Speakeasy. Now Speakeasy is in a group it's called the Salinas Toastmasters Clubs. It is geotagged to Salinas and it will be closing down. It's a private group, but now that we've created the Monterey group in the district account, they would rather join that one for free. So they'll be posting there. Monterey Peninsula Toastmasters, Speakeasy, Monterey Peninsula, Speakeasy, Carmel Improv, and still no oratory otters event. And when we look at Toastmasters group, this is good. The first result is our group. That's awesome. Then Speakeasy, Monterey Peninsula, and Pen Pros. All right. And again, there is no D101 group tagged to Santa Clara that shows up in the search result. So even without the Monterey group in existence, the original District 101 group being geotagged to Santa Clara was not turning up in any of these searches. The only thing that was showing up were events that were in person and geographically tagged to Monterey. Other than that, they just get lost. And this is why we need three groups, one for each major county, and like I said, San Benito is tied in with Monterey. So the idea is that people in San Benito County will broaden their search to include Monterey. So this is why we need three groups. And we hope that you will join all of them. When you join all three groups, you will learn about Toastmasters events taking place throughout the entire district.